Now I'll show you a simple uh, stamping technique known as paper piecing. So we're going to you work with this Mikia stamp. The stamp is known as I don't know, it doesn't have a name on it. So we we're going to make a card using this stamp. So see, I have already stamped this. I've stamped this image here. Paper piecing in, in paper piecing, we uh, the parts, uh, certain parts of the design, you can like uh, stamp them and uh, stamp them on patterned paper, Just cut them out and stick them on your stamp design. So, so this this curl has a dress which is like it's got a skirt, the top and a skirt. So what we can do is stamp the skirt and the top onto different colored paper cut it out and stick it on this so instead of coloring her dress we can stick use pattern paper for her dress i'll show you how many more so this this is the stamp we're going to use and for the dress we we'll use this paper this 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 paper and for her top we'll use this this blue colored paper so what you, what i'll do is i'll just ink it ink her up again I'm just inking up the dress part because I just need the bottom part. So then I stamp it, stamp her on this paper. So there you can see the dress has come here on the on this paper. And we'll just cut cut it out. And I'll just cut it out. I'll just cut out the dress, the skirt part. Be careful to cut from outside the outline because you want the outline also to show on the uh, end uh, stamped image. So I cut, and then I've already cut one and get. So this this is the skirt which I've cut cut out from the pattern. I don't know if it's visible really. This is the skirt. Similarly, I'll stamp the. It's stamp the blouse on, on this blue paper. Then this blouse is, blouse is come on this blue paper and I'll cut it out. I'll cut one out and kept. So this tiny blouse. So this, this will become the dress of this girl. So here is my stamped image. This, this is my stamped image. I color color up. I'll color her up. So I have already colored one up and get and cut color and cut out one and get. So this is my stamped image which I've colored with uh, the skin, the face, and the arms with Copic markers. I'll tell you the what markers, what the, the code numbers of the markers in the end. And uh, the cut, the dress I've cut out. That's what I what I'll do is ju I'll just stick. the dress onto the stamped image. Oops. So here we go. So this is my stamp girl when it, she's wearing the pattern paper dress. So now I'll use this image on a card. So this is a card base which I've got ready. So this is some plain yellow card base on which I have used uh, washi tape, this heart pattern and this blue green stripe pattern to create a simple background. And I've used Pylane uh, self adhesive stickers for this, this edge. And then I've created a background for this stamped image. Uh, Basically, these are Bobani and Cosmo Cricket, cricket uh, die cuts. So this is this is what I've made. So I've got, and then I've mounted it on double-sided foam tape. I'll just remove the backing. Just add a little touch of something. I'll just use these pretty mulberry roses and I'll put them on her hair. 
so I'm using glossy accents. Glossy accents uh, works as a great quick adhesive. So you can act practically stick anything with them, metal on metal and metal on paper, whatever, everything. It works with everything. So I just love it. So here we go. My card is ready. A simple card made with uh, paper piecing using paper piecing technique. So paper piecing would make, work great on images which you in which you have to color in like dresses or like big areas. You can just stamp it on some pattern paper, cut it out, and stick stick it on top of your stamped image. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Please feel free to get in touch with us in case of any queries. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.